Hello my friends, Perilous 3D here. There's something going on with the Aurora. It's gonna explode or something. I don't know what's going on. But I'm going back up there. What? 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 Oh man. Does that mean I'm dead? I was in the middle of crafting and I got this message saying the Aurora is on like a meltdown. For your convenience, the radius suit has been added to your blueprint database. Yeah, I think I'm going to need that. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Yeah, when your Aurora has a meltdown, definitely put on a radiation suit. And also, <laughs> pick up your med kit for good measure. So, okay. Um, my crafting got interrupted. I'd better focus on preventing myself from getting radiation sickness. Um, fiber mesh. How the heck do I make that? I've got the lead, I believe. Let me make sure. I've got one lead. Ah, crap. Does that mean I'm gonna get poisoned in the meantime? And the other thing was what again? Mesh. Let me check my uh, database here. Mesh, mesh, mesh. What? What is it again? Fiber mesh. Mm, looks like it doesn't show um, components. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Unless... is it here? Radiation suit? No details. Fauna... Flora. Yeah, I'm not sure. So this is one of those examples of what I was mentioning last time. I am somewhat of a purist and I go in blind for just about everything except for MMOs. So this game is going to be no exception. Um, the reason I'm saying this is because if you're wondering why I'm go running around in circles or swimming around in circles as it were, is because I don't look anything up on wiki, I don't google stuff. Uh, I try to figure it out on my own, so if you're wondering why I'm banging my head on simple things, that is the reason, guys. Bear with me, and I promise you I will figure it out and will be all the better for it. I find, personally, that the, re the reward, the enjoyment of games like this is much higher when you figure things out for yourself. I could be wrong. You may have a different opinion. Uh, that's just the way I do things. So I felt like you needed an explanation for that. And now that I've said that, you understand, hopefully. Okay, so this I definitely want to set up. So I'm going to put this here. And probably should save. That's a good idea. I haven't saved yet. Three episodes in, I haven't saved. Let's put this down near the other one. Yeah, good positioning that time. Last time I did this, um, my <laughs> my lockers were all over the place, and it was a real pain in the ass. So this time, um, the positioning is, is much better. So I'm just going to put things in here. I'll sort it some other time when I'm not filming. Um, yeah, that's, that's good for now. So I need another lead. I need to figure out how to make these fibers. Um, I really hope I don't get radiation sickness while I'm doing all this. And as far as where to go, I'm not even sure. Um, I haven't explored this yet, so I might as well go take a look. Is this salvage that I can actually pick up or no? It doesn't look like it. There is a box over there, though. I'm going to check out that box for sure. There might even be two boxes. There are two boxes. So what's in here? A sea, sea glide fragment. Um, since I've already discovered it, I guess that just made it into titanium. What else can I do here? Uh, no, scan that already. What's what's in here? Any goodies? It's not even. What really? Thirty seconds. I can't even open these. Ah, what a bummer. So there's just that one. What about this? Another sea glide fragment. So that's just gonna give me more titanium. I don't know if I checked that big box or not, but there's probably Oxygen. there's probably not much else there. Um, I don't want to make my way towards that thing, or I'm definitely gonna get sick. 
Let's go take one more look at this section here. I wonder if these are all parts of the Aurora that broke off. Huh, that's interesting. So yeah, the big cargo container has nothing. The small one I've already scanned. Anything else? What is making those loud whale noises? Is that you? Mr. Toxic Funk? Uh, nothing here. Alright, I'm kind of wasting my time here. What is this, a whole fish? New creature discovered. Um, I don't think I finished scanning it. So hopefully I find another one. Or can I release it? I wonder if I can release it back if I drop it. Whole fish. Drop. Is it swimming? Oh, I picked it up again. <laughs> but looks like you can release them and, and scan again if you didn't finish scanning. So I'm going to do that just to get that out of the way. Some air. really like the C key. The C allows you to um, descend straight down, which is very handy. All right, let me drop this guy again. Hopefully I can catch up to him, scan him. There we go. Pick you back up, buddy. Get back over here. No! Sea glide. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. You have no chance. Gotcha. Okay, so the sea glide has power, which tells me that most likely I'll have to recharge it with batteries or something at one point. Oh, it has a light, too. Look at that. Nice. So I don't really need the spotlight that much then. It also, whoa, it also has some kind of a map here, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure how to read that map yet, but we'll figure it out. So, my, the distance that I can cover now obviously has gone up tremendously. I'm back here in the cave. Let's go down here and see what there is to see. Probably not much. Did I scan you yet? Yes. Yes, I did. Last thing I want to do is come across one of those uh, explodey guys. Power's dropping fast. Man, that's quite the sight right there. Well, let's head back over to the kelp forest and maybe I'll be able to find some of the stuff I'm missing. One more lead. And, uh, the fiber stuff, I have no idea. What's this? Is that another sea, sea glide fragment? Huh. Inventory's probably getting full already, half full. What I probably want to get in the habit of doing is using um, quartz, using my sea glide primarily for the return trip. One of those explodey guys. No! I was able to avoid him. I should probably go get the um, the sulfur now that he's not in there. That's what I'm gonna do. Where was that? Over here somewhere? Oh, there's an egg. That I'm pretty sure I've already scanned. Um, I thought it was here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Okay. So is there sulfur in there? Yes, there is. Still no lead though. Got lots of quartz now. A bit of sulfur. Um, yeah, I probably don't want to hang out here for too long. I have the surface yet again. Okay. Well, enough wasting time. Let's get in that kelp forest and see what we can find here. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. That's most likely where the goodies are. Whoa! Stalkers everywhere. I have enough lubricant for now, so I'm not going to bother grabbing that. But I will comb the bottom here as much as I can. No! No! 
bastard. I almost whipped out my flare. No, no, no! Oh my god, what are you? What are you? That thing was ugly. I want to scan it, but I don't want to get eaten. Oh man, why am I going I after it? I hope scanning it and taking a chance is, is going to be worthwhile for me. Because I'm going back. <laughs> Stubborn fool that I am, I'm going back. Where is that guy? Oh, there he is. I see him. Wow, that thing's nasty. Look at the way it moves. I'm sure if I get too close to it, he's gonna fuck me up. Alright, Sand Shark. And he's stuck on a rock so I can scan him. Sweet. Okay, now let's get back on the Sea Glide and move with conviction. What's this? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency yeah, I, I definitely don't want to do seconds. that. My O2 tank is not good enough to go that deep, so I'm going to have to watch myself. Damn, that oxygen goes down fast. Okay, one more time, and then I'm going to have to make my way back, unfortunately, already. Let's get just low enough to start grabbing stuff like this egg and another egg is that that's not an egg it's creep mine maybe it was an egg i don't know eventually i'll have to figure out how to process those eggs or whatever you do with them i don't know maybe you can oh yeah that's right you can hatch them in the right environment no 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, lead seems to be elusive as um, these bandages. I don't, know, I don't know what you're supposed to use to even make them. I would have thought it would be in the kelp forest, but I'm not finding anything new. Unless I'm just not looking in the right place. Um, I'm going to keep chipping away quite literally, chipping away at the uh, mineral deposits so that I can maybe find some lead or something. Kind of hard to see, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I have, I have terrible vision to begin with, but I find it a little difficult to see what I'm doing here. Would it be better to use this? Oh, that's the advantage of this thing, I get it now. I get it. I was wondering why there, you would bother using this thing if, you know, if your sea glide has a light on it, why would you use the spotlight? But it's obviously got much better illumination. That explains it, but now that it's daytime, I don't need to use power for nothing. Oh, hey, oh, oh oxygen, I'm totally froze up. For the most part, it's pretty smooth. Um, as far as the FPS and, and the game, you know, smoothness visually in general. However, because I'm recording and playing on a pretty high um, graphical setting, obviously it's going to lag sometimes, but it's been pretty minimal so far, so I'm happy with it. What's this? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Progress on that um, recipe or whatever you want to call it is two out of three, so maybe one more. There's another sea glide. I mean, I'll take the titanium, but I really don't need it right now. I think a titanium overdose. You, I don't know. I'll take you, I guess. Oh, no, no. See, like, the worst thing you can do is what I just did. Is... <laughs> Be low on oxygen and then go below 100 meters. That's that's a double no. That's a double bad. So I'm gonna try not to do that again. But I really want to make some discoveries here. I've already done that. So let's let's go let's go low, but not past 100 if we can. If we can avoid it. And 
Oh, you know what? I'm just, I'm just remembering that there is um, a pretty intricate cave system in the kelp forest somewhere that I'll have to try and find eventually. Oh, this might do it. Mobile Vehicle Bay. There it is. What that does, I have no idea, but I'm sure it's something good. Sandstone chunk. There's some silver! Yes! Yes! Was that a bubble? What was that? Can I breathe that? I wonder if I can breathe in those bubbles, and then I don't have to come to the surface. Oh, you can! Nice! Thirty seconds. So these brains give air, it looks like. Yes! Is that lead? If that's lead, then my trip has been so successful. Getting low on water, though, so I'm gonna have to go back. But not without first grabbing some lead. What was that? Was it lead? Salt? I mean, I'll take it, but... It's not what I was after. I really, really don't want to lose this silver, though, so I think I'm going to go back so that I can save my inventory. Did I get this already? What is this? Yeah, I think I've already got that one. Okay, so let's start making our way back, because I really, really, really don't want to lose all this stuff. And it might be a good idea to um, power up my stuff as well. Which I'm guessing you do that with the batteries, but I'm not sure. Grab some fishies on the way. Oh, a hoop fish. I'll probably scan that before I go back in. Hey, where'd you go? I want to eat you. Come back here, peeper. Ah, oh, inventory's full. Okay. That's to that. Let's go back. And... Yeah. See, if you save your, your energy and your sea glide mostly... I mean, you're going to use it when you need to use it, but if you can save it for your trip back, I mean, getting back home is, is a breeze. Um, yeah, before I go back in, though, I'm going to try and scan this new fish if I can. This guy, put him on slot four, and I'll get ready to catch him again, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to release you. Be nice. Let me go grab some air first. Okay, now be nice. I'm gonna release you. Just wanna scan you, and then I'm gonna put you in my belly. Alright. He's going uh, mostly towards the surface, so that's good. Okay. Can I put anything in here before I go in? I'm going to have to do a lot of crafting, I think, before next time. There's a lot of stuff here I need to sort through. Um, floaters. Hoverfish. Yeah, I'm going to put these in here for now. Full fish. I don't know what I can use those for, but no doubt it's something good. Um, four. I'm going to need water, so I might as well put this in here. Drink the water. I'm gonna need more water than that, looks like. So it'd be nice if you could label these um, somehow. I don't know that there's a way to do that, but it would be nice if you could. Drink up. All right, pretty low on uh, liquids now, though. Anything to eat here? No. Might as well keep those on me so I can make some more. And what sort of edibles do I have? Looks like I don't have much. Probably gonna need that. That. Put that there. Nothing in there. Nothing up my sleeve. Um, no. And, uh, oh, here we go. Rotten! <laughs> That's what happens when you let it sit too long. It becomes rotten, and now it's useless. Or is it? Oh, yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna... Have me lose food and, and, and water if I eat that, so I'm definitely not gonna consume that. I'm gonna have to dump it, unfortunately. 
Return to the wild, my friends. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to take some food to cook. I need, I need grub. Might as well cook these guys up. Oxygen. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this, it's just got that. Okay. All right, so I'm good. I can go back into the. I was gonna say the life tub. <laughs> Basically, what it is. Life pod. So lots and lots of water. I've got salt now. If I want to preserve something that gives maybe a lot of food, I don't know why I would want to do that now. In fact, I'll probably just save that salt for when I really need it. Um, but food, definitely in order. Eating it fresh to get the most nutritional value out of it makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do. We're getting low on time, so I don't want to sit here doing this for the whole time, but let's talk about strategy for the rest of this episode. So now that I have... Do I have glass? I better freaking have glass. That's, that's one thing I need real bad. And when I say real bad, I mean real fucking bad. <laughs> um, I need... Yeah, I've got glass. Okay. So two glass. Lead is not an option. I think that's all I need. Is there anything else? Oh, right. The, uh, the O2 tank. I gotta take it off. Take it all off. And now... Hopefully I can still make it, even though know, my inventory is full. Yes! Boom! Oh yeah! 135, baby! Now I can stay underwater for extended periods of time. I mean... A minute and a half seems long to me, but I'm sure that'll go by. It'll go by in a snap when you're underwater and get busy. So that gives me a little bit of water too. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat this. Pretty much full now. I like to keep my health maxed out. There's probably one here that I can just grab. I've got a good little supply of first aid kits, so I can use it. And even if it goes over a little bit, that's not a big deal. But yeah, everything else is looking great. Uh, I just need that other lead in order to make... What was it that I was making? Now I forget. Something important, though. Fins is obviously very important. Oh, yeah, the radiation suit. And that maybe will allow me to go explore the remnants of the Aurora, which would be badass. Uh, the rebreather is obviously something I want to do in the near future, but the fiber mesh, I'm still not sure how to make that. Any tools that I can... Silicone rubber. Silicone rubber, I want to say, is... Should be relatively easy to make. Creepvine seed cluster. Oh, I made them all into... Uh, I made them all into lubricant. So I'll have to go back and get some more of that. So that I can make um, fins and stuff like that. I'll do that before next time. And we can focus more on adventuring. Uh, an air bladder you can make one of those two. Emergency flotation device. Hmm. Okay. So that allows you to surface quickly. That could be handy. Habitat builder. Hmm. Interesting. So I did make this recently. This this little discovery. Um. Mobile vehicle bay. I'm really curious to see what that does. So I think I'm going to make that, actually. Lubricant, power cell, titanium ingot. What do I need for the power cell? Ah, uh, silicone. So everything's revolving around silicone. So I'm going to go back and um, before next time, I'm going to get a whole crap load of that, that creep vine stuff. Make it into rubber this time rather than lubricant. And I'm gonna make all of these these recipes, all all the things that I can bang out before next time. I'm gonna do that so that, as I said, we can focus mainly on adventuring next time. You know what? We still got a little bit of time to hell with it. I'm gonna go get it right now, and I'll share with you guys as much as I can around that process. Let me save. All right, it. Dump this stuff off. I can't really put any more stuff in there. 
But guess what? I'm gonna have to make another damn storage locker, which is fine. We got lots of titanium to do that, so might as well place one of those out there. Hey, what do you know? It's still daytime. Amazing. So let's drop it right here. Um, not literally drop it, but put it down like so. And within, I will drop off all the quartz. I'm sure glass is probably one of the only things you can use quartz to make, but with other games, I realized, and I'm sure this is the same, you know, for this game. I forgot, oh, that's right, I have a piece of gold. I forgot about that. With um, this game, is probably no exception that you should probably, if you can, if you have the inventory space, you should always keep um, your stuff in raw form, if possible. Because once you convert it, as I did with the lubricant, it's nice to have a, a buttload of uh, lubricant. Did I, did I just say that? <laughs> did I say butt and lubricant in the same sentence? It's nice to have all that stuff, but in the raw ingredient form, it would be much more useful, obviously, because you can then make several things with it. Once you commit and turn it into lubricant, you're stuck with it in that form, so then you have to do exactly what I'm doing now and go back, you know, to wherever to get more. And that's unfortunately what I have to do now, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna head over to um, turn that off so I'm not wasting too much power. I'm gonna head back over to the kelp forest real quick, grab some stuff, grab the creep vine shit, whatever it's called, I forget now. And uh, what's this? Flashy things grab my attention. I'm like a seagull. Um, oh, what's that? Is that Gary fish? Are you a Gary? Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna grab this stuff really, really quick, and then head back home. Where's the closest one? Probably this one. Grab a whole bunch of it. Creep vine. Creep vine cluster. They're fairly large, so this is gonna fill up my inventory fast. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come on, come on! What did I do to you? Just grabbing creep vine stuff, man. Come on, give me a break. Anything in here? Acid mushrooms? I didn't really need that. Oh no, no! Did it blow up! Ah! It hardly hurt me, I guess, but still. Got the sulfur since I took damage from that. Seconds. Oh, and here too. Nice. I don't know what sulfur is used for, but I'm sure eventually it'll come in handy. I'm lost. It's not already obvious. I am lost. Where's my light spot? There it is. Look for the red, dum dum. Good to know that those brain things, um, those brain things release air. So when I'm when I'm really low, I'll be able to stay down there longer by using those. And there's always those um, those tubes. I don't know if you guys saw that. I'm sure you're familiar with it if you're playing the game. But for those that may not be familiar. Um, I could also make... where is it? I think it's under tools. Yeah, these things. Wait, no. Here we go. Pipe. And a floating air pump. You can... Cuddle up with the pipe when you get low on air and it will fill it up, similar to the, the bubbles. But... In my experience last time when I was playing it, it was kind of a pain in the butt to set these up and then... Um, if you don't do it right, you got to take it down and set it up straight and properly. So I haven't bothered with this now, but this is an option as well if you want to stay underwater longer. But really, the main thing that I wanted to grab was um, I wanted to make the rubber, but I don't. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say I don't see the rubber, but there it is. So there we go. So with this rubber, I'll be able to make all those other things that I'd mentioned: fins. Um, we'll cover all that next time, and I'll share with you all the things that I've built, but that'll pretty much do it for today. Man, a half hour goes by fast when you're having fun. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the series, my friends. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, give it a like. Give it a sub. Uh, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the action. Man, it's good to be back. It's good to be back on the channel. Um, I missed you guys. Hope you missed me. 
Anyway, thanks again for tuning in, my friends. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, be well, and uh, keep scuba diving. I don't know. <laughs> see you next time.